In this video, I'm going to solve some practice problems using the product and quotient rule. So, just a quick reminder, the product rule is used when you have a multiplication between two different functions, and the quotient rule is used when you have a division between them. So, and those functions will be u and v. In both cases, there will be kind of a mix between the u and the v, to obtain the derivative, so in the protocol it's going to be u prime times v plus v prime times u, and the prime just means it's the the differentiated form or the just the derivative of that function. And for the quotient rule, it's going to be u prime times v minus v prime times u over v squared. So in this case, there's a minus, which means the order actually matters, unlike the protocol. So to get into the problem, it's x times x minus 1 times x minus 2. This looks like we can use the product rule on it. When you have three different functions, you could just make it two by multiplying it. So this will be equal to, I'm going to multiply this two. So it's going to be x squared minus x times x minus 2. You'll want to name it. So this, let's say this is our u. And this is our v. And obtain the derivative of each. So x squared minus x is going to be 2x minus 1. And v prime is going to be 1. And then just plug everything into the formula. So in this case, the order didn't matter, so I'm going to use u prime first, 2x minus 1, times v, which is x minus 2, plus v prime 1, times u x squared minus x. So, that this is just the same. Uh, this is just by, you could just keep simplifying this. It's going to be 2x squared minus 4x minus x plus 2 plus x squared minus x. So let's see what we can cancel out. We can make this to 1x squared. So that's x squared. And we have minus 5x minus x minus 6x plus 2 and this oh oh this is there's a 3 here because you don't cancel this out I don't know what I was thinking there's a plus here so sorry about that so you get 3x squared minus 6x plus wow that was bad alright so let's do another one this one looks like the quotient rule so you cannot simplify that anymore so we'll just name this u this v and then get the derivative of each so u prime is going to be 2x minus 2 and our v prime is going to be 2 now to plug it into our equation if you want to remember you always start with u prime both the product and quotient rule it doesn't matter in the product rule because it's it's a plus, it's an addition between them, but in the quotient rule it does matter. So u prime is going to be 2x minus 2 times v, so v is 2x minus 5, and then that's going to be minus 2, that's our v prime, times u x squared minus 2x minus 1. And that's over v squared, which is over 2x minus 5 squared. Now I have to write small, so that's going to be 4x squared minus 10x minus 4x plus 10 minus 2x squared plus 4 x plus 2 over 4x squared 
minus 20x plus 25. Let's see what we can cancel out. This two, this is a negative and a positive. I didn't make the same mistake. So 10 plus 2, so this is going to be, we're going to make this 2x squared. The 10x stays the same, the 10 and the 2 become a 12. So this becomes, if I remember right, 2x squared minus 10x plus 12 over 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. Make sure. 2x squared minus 10x plus 12 for x squared minus yeah so that's the result and I'll be solving one more so in this case we are going to use the quotient rule and the power function actually we we don't even need to use the the quotient rule we can just use the power function so we can make this two times is going to be x cubed minus 2x over negative 1 fourth. If this was 2x, we would have had to use the quotient rule. But it's just a constant. So using the product rule, this is going to be 2 times 2 times negative. I was writing the whole thing. So 2 times negative 1 fourth from that's just by bringing the power down and then we'll have x cubed minus 2x negative 1 fourth minus 1 and the derivative of this function which is 3x squared minus 2 so this would be negative one half by simplifying the the two on the one fourth and then x x cubed minus two x to the negative five over four and our derivative three x squared minus two so we can make this negative three half x squared plus one times x cubed minus two x minus five fourths and that's our result. So I guess this was a good reminder of of all the functions and rules I've talked about, the quotient rule, the product rule, and the power function. Hopefully these problems help you out, and if, you've, if, if they did, like it and share it with your friends.